Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a virtual private server or a VPS server uh, so that you can run any type of server that you want on that. So today I'm going to show you to create one on uh, Vulture or Walter. Uh, so the first of all you need to create a login account. So I have already created one for myself. So when you're creating one, I prefer that you click the referral link in the description below where you will be able to get $100 as a gift and for me as well as I will get $25 for referring the referral link to you. So I hope that you uh, register you seen my uh, affiliate link in the description below and it's a win-win situation for both of us. So as well as subscribe my channel and let's go on with the review so first of all create the account using the referral link and afterwards you will get an interface similar to this one so this is your dashboard for uh, Walter uh, VPS solution and in this uh, interface now what we need to do is you need to uh, first you will get something uh, to add the credit card information after doing so you will get the uh, referral amount uh, after doing so you will get this interface so afterwards click on the plus icon and you will get uh, the deploy instances and there are four different instances where cloud compute high frequency bare metal dedicated cloud these are some different types of uh, VPS server types so bare metal is something which you are which is dedicated for you and in my case I'm just going to select cloud compute and for location I'm going to select America and within America I'm going to select New York after selecting New York the, the server types are there so from here you can select operating system 64 bit 32 bit applications all, all those kind of things you in here all the Linux uh, most used Linux operating systems are shown here and as well as you can uh, create a Windows VPS server as well but when creating the Windows one you will need to uh, buy the license as well so in my case i'm not just going to create a windows server i'm going to create a ubuntu server and i'm going to select the version as 18.04 and here there are some different types of servers so there are servers starting from two dollars and fifty cents but this one the problem is it's using only ip 6 so ip 6 is a hexadecimal ip address so using that one is a bit difficult so because of that uh, I'm going to be selecting the $3.50 one so there are some different servers so the differences are the RAM and the bandwidth so the $3.50 one is having only 512 memory and 500 GB of bandwidth so there are others with 2000 bandwidth and 2 GB and you can as well as get uh, 65 GB uh, RAM and 100,000 uh, GB of bandwidth so in my case for my usage I just need a $3.50 one so I'm going to select that and afterwards so there are some additional features here so first what you need to do is you need to see it for them but most of the time these additional features are not required so if you need private networking you can select this one if not you can just leave it so in my case I don't need those things I'm going just going to leave it and afterwards give a name so in my case I'm going to give it as test cloud and make sure all the things that you did are done correctly so the country is correct operating system is correct service correct name is okay afterwards click the server quantity that you want I just need one and click deploy after deploying the server it might take some time to install so I will uh, fast forward this video for you where the instance is running perfectly. So now as you can see the service created and running perfectly. Now you can see the RAM capacity as well as the dedicated IP given to us from the server so first click on the three dots and click server details so you can see the server usages and uh, the bandwidth used and currently it is charging only zero dollars and 
and 0 1 cent so you can see other settings as well the graphs for the performance settings add in other IP addresses and those kind of things snapshots backups the, all of these th these things are there uh, some of these things need to be purchased separately some of them are included now after connecting what you need to do is you need to go to the terminal interface of the uh, server that you just created for configuring after doing so you can do whatever you want so there are two ways that you can uh, go to the terminal interface one is where you can select the view the console option but to do that you need to go into the uh, web page every time but the easiest way is to install an application called putty so i have installed the application i'm just going to open it on putty you have the option called ssh so for the ip address you need to copy the ip address which is given to us here I'm going to copy this one and paste it here after pasting the username will be root so I'm going to click open uh, click yes and the username will be root I'm going to give it root press enter for the password I'm just going to copy the password here paste enter so as you can see I have been logged on to the server which is which was just created on the uh, Vault uh, cloud solution. So, I hope this uh, guide was useful to you and uh, make sure to subscribe because on my next video, I will be showing you how to create your own VPN server uh, easily uh, where you don't need to uh, worry about um, higher prices and those kind of things. So, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe, like my channel, and uh, refer the uh, link which is in the description when registering and have a nice day. Thank you.